Hello traders, Gary Wagner here just after 10.30 in Honolulu, 4.30 in New York on Friday. Happy Aloha Friday as we say on the islands. It is the 10th day of October 2014 and this is a, the daily report for gold and silver. Dramatically lower stock prices today with the S&P dipping dramatically uh, below 1900. I'm just waiting for our chart to update here. Dollar trading a little bit higher on the day. Gold in essence unchanged down 50 cents. Current print uh, 1223.11. It's had a high of 12.25 and a low of 12.17.20. Silver is actually trading unchanged to higher, up about a nickel on the day, but as you can see from this weekly chart, dramatically lower on the week. Now, in terms of the range of silver today, high 17.41, low 17.14, current 17.37. More on silver in a little bit. Of course, today the dramatic news is the incredible sell-off in the Standard & Poor's 500, Dow Jones, all off in double and triple digits. Take a look at this uh, daily S&P chart. This is the mini S&P, and this is how it looked just a few days ago, trading within this channel line, uh, this mark being at around 1920. This is a 60-minute chart of the uh, mini S&Ps, and take a look at it now. You can see it has just been devastated, breaking through the 1920 here, breaking all the way down to 1893.25 on an intraday chart. Now, in the light of that, when we take a look at what we've seen gold do during the same period of time, of course, we did get long. We got long at 1208. Market's hitting at 1223, in essence, unchanged. In terms of the candlestick pattern, it is an engulfing bullish. That's the first thing that gives me some indication that we could see higher pricing. We could see this bounce, bounce continue. The second thing that I am looking at, of course, is this series of lows that we've had recently, along with this now matching low. We've had a triple bottom here. If we go in and really compress this chart, let's go ahead and do that you'll see that the last time this market has ever traded in this area was back in 2010, and that was before, of course, the market had its dramatic rise all the way to this record top at 1919.20. Ever since then, we've been in a downward spiral, and now we've had three occasions in which we have hit this bottom, and at least for now, on a tentative basis, there is no doubt but we have had and found some support because the market really screamed when it hit that 1184 intraday, uh, and that was Sunday and Monday of this week. The speed at which we saw new orders coming in, pushing this market up was absolutely dramatic. So we're looking at a, a daily chart. This, of course, is the uh, continuous contract of COMEX Gold. And it has been unusual to say the least. This is the 1184. This is the bottom that it hit. As the market comes up, these two candlesticks here are actually shooting stars. You have this, in essence, unchanged day on the day. But it does close above effectively 1221, 1222. The reason I believe that to be a key or an important number is it is a 23% retracement of the move down from this high here at 13 at 1346 to the low of call it 1180. So this is our first mark. I am currently putting support, call it 1220. I'm also currently pegging resistance, call it around 1246. And this of course is based on the daily charts. Above that is 1265. Our target right now is somewhere in the 30s or 40s. I wanna see how this market trades at the beginning of the week. Are we going to get a continuation of the mayhem on Wall Street or will that kind of settle down and I really hope that it does or are we finally at the the beginnings of that deep correction that everyone is really warned about we'll have to see nobody really knows the answer to that but this is the way we're looking at the market currently we are looking at a two-day chart continuous contract of gold also and what is interesting on this chart of course we use this originally to really talk about this defined downtrend that we had and we 
drew it from three data points, this low, this high, and of course, this all-time high. And what we saw was that it was effectively trading within this channel and trading in what I call a cascading point in which it went lower. We had a genuine breakout above this line. And once we did, I added uh, this particular Andrew's pitchfork. And what this is going to do is tell us if we're an uptrend. We clearly broke through the zero line and went back into a downtrend here. There's no doubt about that. But interestingly, as it hit the zero line, it almost tracked right on that zero line, just popping up that zero line what uh over the last couple of trading days and then lastly daily chart continuous contract comex gold japanese average format and what we're looking at of course is body size and whether or not there's wicks over the last two days we've had an absence of lower wicks what does that say an absence of lower wicks says you've got green candles is saying that it opened and at all times during the trading session traded above the midpoint of the prior candle meaning the prior day on this daily chart it is a small inside candle right now looks much different than we when we look at a standard chart in which we have those shooting stars and it's it's almost a, a haunting haunting kind of a look here with these two shooting stars in this doji i really don't know what to make of that because there's no formation that i know of that incorporates these candlesticks quite in that way but you can see the difference when you do convert it so what about silver well as we go into the close this being our our daily chart let me make sure that it is uh currently updated with all the the new data so we can get a much better sense of it and there we go uh, you can see that it did find support what roughly 1660 has traded back up you also get these long extended highs closing near the lows of the day that to me is still ominous i am putting support right now at around 1720 in silver although i think it's weak at best i think that if we see continued pressure in the equities markets you've got that weighing upon the price of any of the industrial precious metals. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We'll talk to you on Monday for another daily update review. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.